there, Jerry. It's a 1989 uh, Fender 62 American Vintage Reissue Jazz Bass in Sonic Blue is the color, uh, but it's faded to this, um, I don't know what this is. It's kind of a, it's what Sonic Blue looks like when it fades really bad. Yeah. Or really good. I think it looks fades really, really cool. Uh, it's got a matching headstock. Really, really, um, you just don't see these that often. Uh, they did release um, a limited, I don't know how many of them, but in the late, late 80s of matching headstocked uh, 62 uh, American Vintage reissues. It's also got the stacked knobs, uh, which isn't super uncommon, but it is a little less common. You're going to see uh, three knobs on a lot of the newer ones. So stacked knob is cool. It definitely adds to the uh, vintage vibe of it. Uh, still got the covers. Yeah, man, this thing's rad. Let's, uh, yeah, super cool looking. Now that you have seen and heard me play this thing, let's go over the condition. I gave it an eight out of 10. Let's call it very good. Uh, it's got some scratches. It's got some dings, uh, a few spots where the paint is chipped. And then the uh, sonic blue finish has faded really nicely into uh, kind of a sea foam finish. Um, it looks really great, man. I, I like the faded uh, Sonic Blues a lot. I like Sonic Blue a lot, but I really like it when they get old and faded like this. All right, let's check it out. Right off the bat, we can just kind of see. It looks like a little ding going on right there. Some more dings. Some scratches. 
I took the covers off just because, you know, for the condition, it's a little bit better to see everything with the covers off. Yep, yeah, we've got some light scratches and some more dings going on there. There's your, I believe that's your ground. Some more dings and scratches. Let's go over the board. It's got a nice rosewood fingerboard. Let's check out these frets. Frets look good. Cool. Matching headstock. Got a little chip on the front of the headstock right there. Back of the headstock looks great. It's got those tulip tuners. No cracks, none of that stuff. Well, let's get over here. Back of the net looks great. There's some chipping around that um, neck plate. That's pretty common. And then if you look really deep, you can see some of the original uh, Lake Placid Blue. Uh, that's what it looks like, obviously, without the clear coat. So you can see the original blue finish without the clear coat. Let's get in here and see. That looks clean. And a little bit of finish checking down in there. Okay, let's see the back of it. Just got some light scratches on the back. Okay, let's just gonna go over it more. And as I always say, the wear in my videos uh, pops out a lot more than it does in person because I'm shining this light through it. So I'm just getting it to, trying to get it to pop so that you, no surprises. And there's some discoloration going on there. All right, there's that one.